Uh, good morning uh, and welcome to the 31st meeting in 2012 of the Health and Sport Committee. And as usual, um, can I remind everyone present that mobile phones and Blackberries should be switched off as they can often interfere with the sound system. Um, uh, agenda item number uh, one uh, uh, on our agenda today is a decision on whether to take an item in private at future meetings. The item is the committee consideration of its draft report on the inquiry, to, uh, inquiry into community sport. Uh, can I have agreement from the committee to take consideration of the draft report on the community sport and private future meetings? Is that agreed? Yes. Thank you. Um, agenda item number two. Um, which is um, uh, to agree the committee's approach to pet petition PE 1434, uh, petition by Nairn MacDonald, calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to make sure every school can provide adequate sports facilities and resources for their students and to create a minimum level of uh, uh, facilities uh, uh, available. Uh, members have had the paper from the clerks and uh, it's been suggested uh, as the issue raised by the petition has been covered in some detail during the community sport inquiry, the committee agree to incorporate consideration uh, uh, of the petition into the community sport inquiry, which we are due to return to next week. If members agree this proposal, the committee can return to the petition once the community sport uh, report has been published and decided on any other action they may wish to take at that point. And at, at that point, I invite uh, comments from members. Gil Patterson. Thanks very much. Can you, um, you know, I'm very sympathetic to what the petitioner is trying to achieve, uh, but I've got, uh, yeah, I think it's particularly well meaning uh, and, and goes along the lines that, that we, you know, we were listening to people uh, bringing evidence to us to try and see that young people uh, can use the facilities that are available for sport. But I've, there's, there's, there's a fundamental call in this petition because it's asking the, the Scottish Government to make sure. And um, maybe some people would like the government to take over education in its entirety. I, However, the, the government don't, don't have the powers when it comes to education uh, and what happens in schools directly. And so I, I think the, the petition should be better directed to COSLA. That's where the power lies and not with the Scottish government. Um, as I say, I, I, you know, I'm sympathetic to it, but I, I, I think it, it's you know, calling the wrong people to take action in this regard, and it would be... It would be, I think, quite catastrophic uh, if, if we uh, were making any suggestions that we take powers away from local government. I remember being part of the uh, Procedures Committee of this Parliament, and the first couple of visits that we made in the early days was really to reassure uh, our colleagues in local government that we, this Parliament wasn't about to take uh, powers away from local, uh, from local government and local authorities. So. My reservation is not what the petitioners try to achieve. I have no, in, in fact, I'm very supportive of it. My issues are the message it sends out that this parliament, uh, and more precisely the government, might want to interfere with uh, the powers of uh, what is under the control of local authorities. Annette. Sorry, my hand wasn't actually up. Oh, right, um, sorry, no, I, I thought it was. I, 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 looking at me, I mean, I, I really can't disagree with what, what um, Gil Patterson is saying, but I, I still think it's, we, we could, uh, at our, looking at our report on community sport, we could actually look at the issues involved and, and give consideration to the petition in that way uh, before deciding what to do with it. Any, anyone else? I mean, no. I mean, I think, uh, Bob. Sorry, um, sorry, Camilla, just caught your no, eye earlier there. Um, one of the issues I have is I'm not sure that we have actually taken evidence on this during our inquiry into community sport. This would seem to be quite a specific petition that says uh, the government should say what the minimum adequate sports facilities are in every school in the country and that should be enforced. We've not actually taken 
I don't believe we've taken evidence on that. On a couple of occasions, we sought to widen the inquiry out, and we were a bit nervous of widening the inquiry out also, because it may dilute the focus that we had. I don't necessarily want to end this petition. I just don't think it sits well with uh, the inquiry into community sport. Um, the thing that came into my head when looking at it was um, the, the government talks about, and apologies, I'm going back to the, the letter we got from the Scottish government uh, in terms of, it mentions the 1967 Scotland Regulations Act that sets out requirements for sport and facilities and, and schools and a number of other things. I'd be keen to know uh, how the Education Inspectorate assesses uh, the quality of sporting facilities within schools and how that drives change and investment within a local authority level. For me, that would be an interesting thing to find out. Uh, and I'm just using that as an example, convener, to say that's not something we could establish if we were to incorporate into the, the community sport inquiry. So I wouldn't want the petitioner to think that. Mm -hmm. I, I actually think it would be an easy fix to put it into the community sport inquiry and then not really do anything with it, and that would be it finished. I think we should either say we're not taking it any further or we should maybe get some additional information and keep a kind of weather eye on it, because there's a number of petitions in the past where what we've done is we've corresponded in a number of matters to get a kind of clearer uh, picture ourselves. Right, is, is, is there any other comment? Um, so I think the options, I don't think the, the consensus is that we should consider it, and I think the stress is on consider it. Uh, consider it because I think probably many in the committee would have reached that conclusion. You know, we'd have dealt with it within within that. So I think there's a difference between, in my mind, a, a slight difference between considering it as a far and away from giving it a credence or whatever, or even accepting it. And, and, and I think, while specifically, Bob, that it hasn't been. Uh, you know that, that that scrutiny of that area. There's certain. Uh, I think we all accepted throughout um, that inquiry. To inquiry and all the, the evidence we had as a clear responsibility on local government with the, the, the delivering and some of this. So, but I think if we're not going to consider it as part of that, we can. We're actually asking for additional information and dealing with it separately, which could take us a different road altogether. You actually. Yeah. Anyway, but if that's, uh, do, have we got agreement on that? Let's go along with that. Okay. 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 Um, we now move to um, uh, um, uh, agenda item number three, <laughs> draft project scrutiny, which we uh, previously agreed uh, would be taken in private session. Thank you.